What it do y'all, your boy is back on the grind another time and you know we working on the Caprice again today y'all. Today I'm actually hoping to get the blower put on, not fully installed but just put on. I want to put it there and have it kind of just set in its final resting place before I really snug it down. But I want to put it on for a number of reasons. Uh, one, because I'm really excited to put it on, but two, uh, since I'm relooming and moving some wires around i kind of want to get it mocked up uh, at least the wires mocked up to kind of see am i going to have to extend or cut some wires or anything like that uh, how long are some of the wires uh going to need to be to go to like the the iat sensor and the map sensor things like that because some of these wires i actually have already extended because with the tbss intake i kind of moved some sensors around and had to extend some and whatnot so some of the extensions might be too long and i just created my own i just uh soldered in new wiring myself so i'll probably just cut them down if i need to if they're too long i'm thinking that they probably are too long so i'm gonna have to cut those down anyway so but i want to get it on there so i can at least maybe put the blower lid uh on as well and see exactly kind of how long they need to be and where i'm gonna have to hide them uh or get them looking somewhat flush and nice and neat so there's just not wires all over the place so that's really my main reason for putting it on. And also, man, I just want to see that thing on there. Also, man, you won't believe what happened, man. I'm going to take you outside and show you right now what happened, y'all. All right, y'all. So we walking out to the car. And take a look at this <laughs> oh dang man georgia aka the 2002 cadillac escalade got hit man dang wasn't my fault uh I don't even drive the car that much, mainly on the weekends when I have to go travel to go train people. Otherwise, it literally just sits right here. And my girl's brother backed into it, man. And oh man, I didn't even see this part. Ugh, man. So the crazy thing is, is when I got this car, this was actually new so this thing can't be no more than like a year and a half old uh, it was already damaged before i don't know if somebody hit hit it or whatever but uh, my friend actually owned this car and so i bought it from him he bought this uh he actually sent me the link i hit him up to see if he still had the link to where he bought it from uh and it came just basically black or primered uh, kind of like this black right here I uh, took it to a shop, uh, painted it, and then him and his buddy installed it. But, man, I didn't even see this. I hope that's not a huge deal. I don't even know how this stuff is put on. I don't know if it's held on by tape or what. But, um, anyways, but that's it, man. He backed into it. I guess he didn't see it. And he, uh, yeah, damaged it. So, I'm hoping there's no supplemental damage behind it. I am very fortunate that he missed my lights and also the fender uh so that's really good so should be a fairly simple fix but you know it just you know another thing added to the list i guess but man that really really sucks but shoot man it's windy and cold out here let me go ahead and get back inside so yeah y'all i'm gonna have to deal with that too uh it's crazy because i heard it happen i was training people at our uh, in our fitness facility that we have set up in the back here and we were between workouts so people were leaving people were coming in and all of a sudden i heard a I heard a crack and then i heard somebody just yell and then it ended up being him yelling because he was pissed he hit my car so supposedly he got distracted he was backing in uh, there was a guy who has a big lifted truck out here who was just leaving a buddy of mine and uh i guess he turned on his lights and he got i don't know attracted by the lights took his eyes off looking at where he was going and while he was doing that he was still backing up not realizing it and backed in right into my car so 
Man, crazy, crazy, crazy. I mean, like I said, could have been far worse. Hopefully there's no supplemental damage behind it and then I can just pretty much just get a new uh, front bumper, get it painted. Luckily my boy paints, so I'll probably hit him up to have it, have him paint it and then just put it on from there. So, but I don't know, we'll see. So, but no rush on that. I still got to deal with this right here, so we'll make it happen. But anyways, y'all, let me go ahead and get into the main focus of the video, which is putting this blower on this car and uh, I might attack some wiring first, we'll see, but I'll chime back in, uh, whichever one comes first, and then uh, let you guys know what's up. All right, you guys, so I decided to actually attack the wiring, uh, or some of the wiring first, as I figured it'd probably be a little bit quicker. And what I'm talking about here is all the wiring here. So all these wires that I kind of ran for stuff inside the car, you know, lights or, or uh, sensors or, gauges or anything like that it had to run like grounds and things like that all the way up to uh you know the battery or something like that so i just kind of just kept running wires and wires and wires and that's why you see like black wires red wires and all that just kind of mixed in so what i'm trying to do is is unravel them all and basically just really clean up this section and then in over to there and then really just make it look a lot cleaner than what it is um, I'll try to figure out what I can do right here, but that's what I'm doing for now. I'm kind of just doing it off camera because wiring and just kind of, you know, relooming things. I mean, that's just kind of, kind of tedious stuff. So I don't want to bore you guys with that, but I just at least wanted to show you the before. And then when I get done, I'll show you the after. All right, y'all been working on it for a little bit here. <laughs> wiring, I swear it's so tedious, man, but I'm still here probably about an hour, hour and a half later, just doing this little small section right here. But uh, I had to undo some things and take it all out, make sure it's all straight. Electrical tape them all together just so they're all ran together. And then now I'm to the point where I think I got it where I want it. And now I'm putting on the split loom. So again, I got this mesh split loom in all different sizes, man. Anything from an eighth inch all the way up to, I think one inch and like every uh, like quarter size. So eighth inch, quarter inch, three eighths, half inch and kind of just on up from there. So now I'm using this 3 8 loom to uh, feed on it. It's really, really easy to do, man. It's far, far easier than this kind of like um, normal kind of like hard split loom here. Uh, so, and it, it pretty much when you apply it, it uh, cinches up and goes kind of right back where uh, it was. So it's actually really good. And from what I heard, the, uh, the size of them, so if it's 3 8 it actually will go um, like a, a fraction smaller or something like that so uh, which is really good or it can even expand and go just a little bit bigger so it gives you room to to grow or um, downsize if needed so that's pretty cool so I think it already looks a lot better just that piece right there what I'm doing is feeding it through all the way kind of in between that um, windshield washer motor bracket and then it goes up and through the firewall back behind the booster so uh, let me go ahead and kind of finish this up and then i can kind of show you uh, what it looks like so i've been out here for a few hours got the uh, blower out sitting here looking pretty got the adapters all the o-rings and everything for it, uh gaskets and all that but let me show you what i've been out here doing and uh it might not look like much but if you guys can tell if you remember from the previous clip all those red and black wires and all that that was running along the, the back, gone. Gone, gone, gone. Yes, sir. So it looks really good, y'all. Uh, Everything looks nice and clean. And again, I'm not trying to hide every single wire. Uh, there's gonna be wires showing over there, but that's how it was from the factory. And all the wires that I ran are all gone. Now I still have to tend to that mess, but I'm actually going to uh, figure all that out once I have the blower and stuff on. So that's one reason why I wanna put the blower on. But yeah, I just use this little wire split mesh loom here man this stuff works great i am so glad i got this man it makes everything look nice and neat and now i just don't have all those colors showing anymore 
they all split to different locations here and that's just how it's gonna have to be but you know uh, i love it man i love that i t actually took the time to clean that up uh, i'm still gonna have to do some some little uh little tidying up and whatever from it but man i'm uh loving that i think it's gonna clean up the engine a whole whole lot uh again i'm not gonna go all all in on it but i'm definitely just trying to to clean some stuff up here so now on to the next phase um i'm literally just going to put these gaskets on inside of these uh grooves here these are the adapters for the lsa so these are the cathedral adapters because i have cathedral port heads and that helps me adapt that to these because these are uh probably can't tell and see under there but these are square port you guys can tell look under there so I'll, i have to lay these down first in order to adapt this to this engine so i think i'm gonna go ahead and do that and another reason why i have this out too is i have to put the uh, supercharger oil in here so what you do is you take out this little allen head screw and screw it out and then you uh put in some of this ac delco supercharger oil now i just found out dang it uh, i thought i would be good with one but i guess you have to put 5.1 ounces of fluid in it and this is only four ounces so i ordered this from amazon uh i i'm gonna see if maybe o'reilly's has an extra bottle so i don't have to wait because i really would like to get this on this uh weekend i was hoping today but maybe i can go to the store real quick and maybe see if they have it but uh anyways i do have to put 5.1 ounces in i just found that out literally by just <laughs> youtubing it that is that and shoot man pretty much that's really it also another thing i have these adapters here to uh, mount this to this and I noticed that this has a uh, like little set like a stud like a mounting stud so it can uh, it's like a guide stud I guess so you can set the blower on and kind of know you're in the right place um, so I don't know if if one of these holes is for that little uh, little set stud or whatever it is if not we're gonna have to remove it I know there are some companies that make these so they're not as bulky like this however they just followed the the kind of the lines of the port and so all this is gone basically it's just like here and then here and then here so you don't have all that excess there so it actually misses that little stud um but we'll see maybe i'll try to put it on there now and see if it fits but man i was about to film this whole ordeal and everything but i guess i'm uh tied up for a moment so I'm going to go see if I can get this from O'Reilly's and then come back and kind of finish this. Um, if not, then I'll just probably just uh, end this video today and come back on another day. And so you'll see here in the next clip. All right, so I'm doing my research and calling around. Uh, nobody has it. So it must be like a dealer only thing or just order it on eBay and Amazon. So, so just look like I'm just going to be out on that one, I guess. And so I'll just order it. And with it being Christmas, I probably won't get it anytime soon. So... Uh, I'll be lucky to get it before Christmas, if not uh, just shortly after. And anyways, we're probably going to be going down to my girl's parents' house anyway, so it is what it is. But uh, at this point, I'm just going to go ahead and probably just call it. Uh, in the meantime, I'll probably just try to order another one of these. And uh, what else? And uh, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know what else to do. Um, and also doing some more research, I also found out that uh maybe some superchargers can take six ounces 5.1 i've heard a couple different answers so i think it's probably best that i just go ahead and research that before i put some in and that way before i install it so with even more information i found out that i guess uh sometimes you do have to change the oil so from what i heard it's recommended every 30,000 miles um but if you have an aftermarket pulley that probably means everything all the internal spin um a little bit faster a little bit more aggressive and you have to change it more often even as close to every 10,000 miles so i think what i'll probably do is i already tried to call the dealer to close they're not open on the weekend so i'm pretty much um screwed there uh i might call them on monday and see if they do have the supercharger oil in stock maybe i'll just order some from amazon today and if it if uh it comes from amazon at least i can return it 
and and with free returns and be good and just have the the oil right now if i can get it for the dealer if not then i'll just wait um i guess there's no big deal no big rush anyway because i probably won't be able to work on it past the weekend anyway and probably not um next weekend with it being christmas weekend and all that so i don't know this kind of really bums me out because i really wanted to kind of set this on there and just kind of just see what it looks like um but looks like i'm gonna have to wait and you guys are gonna have to wait as well so with that being said i will probably go ahead and call this video right here as it will be too long till the next video comes out if i wait and I at least want to get something to you guys out now so you guys can kind of see what's going on. And that is pretty much it. So I am going to go ahead and call it right now. Maybe I'll work on something else with the car. I don't know. But shoot, man, you guys know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Do all of that good stuff, y'all. You guys know the drill. Stick with me, man. More to come. If I don't talk to you guys or see you guys on youtube or anything like that you guys have a safe fun filled time with your family loved one friends whoever you celebrate it with if you celebrate it all um have a good one man and just be safe out there everybody ladies and gents uh appreciate every single body out there 2020 is almost over and as we go into 2021 uh let's hope and pray for um, a better year for so many, including ourselves, all right? Deuces, out of here. <laughs>